to coaching. How's week? Um, so today's episode is going to be uh, going from me to we, trying to keep your frustrations to a minimum. So frustrations, we all have them. Things come up maybe out of our control, but sometimes we let them get to us when we really shouldn't, and that starts uh, kind of setting us off path. So I want to share with you guys a story um, that I was reading earlier, and it talks about the, the heaven and hell story. And um, basically what it is, is, you know, there, it's a, this goes back way and I, I'm not going to quote too much because I don't know the um, specifics of it or wh where it originated from. Um, but it talks about comparing um, heaven and hell. And basically when they went down to hell, that uh, everyone was sitting around a big table full of food, but they had uh, chopsticks for hands and um, they couldn't feed themselves. So they're actually sitting there starving. And meanwhile, they're trying to figure out a way to feed themselves, but they're unable to do it. Meanwhile, in heaven, the same circumstance um, is happening, except that uh, around the table, everyone's got the chopstick hands. They're not feeding each other, though. They're feeding their neighbor. They're feeding the person next to them. They're able to do that. They're not able to feed themselves, but they're able to feed the per per person next to them. So the story kind of hit and talks about how instead of worrying about ourselves, we got to start helping other people, um, especially when frustrations start happening. Because a lot of times when these frustrations start happening, it's because we're actually just worried about ourselves and what's going on um, with ourselves as opposed to trying to help the situation and getting over our own ego with it. So that's what we're going to talk about is the, um, the me song. And you're going to have to hold on one second because I got a crying baby. So it looks like this week's special guest will be Liam. Uh, I figured it was just a matter of time before one of these kids was up when I was trying to shoot all these. Um, but the me song. So every now and then I've said it to, to some guys before and, I, and they can say it to me too. Um, you know, it's when someone's just talking about themselves with it and you're like, man, I've heard that song. It's called, I think the lyrics go, me, 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 me. And what it means is that you're just concentrating on yourself instead of maybe solving the problem of what's going on. And when you start focusing on yourself, it's real easy to kind of put yourself on a higher pedestal and then you start becoming frustrated and you get miserable. Well, let's say um, maybe you're judging somebody else because, you know, as we all know, everyone on our team is a little bit different. And um, we all have our different strengths and different weaknesses. But some there's something that they're better at than you are. So we tend to judge other people, though, based on our own values and our perspective of it. So maybe you're really into training. And the other guy's really into um, truck purchasing. Well, neither of you are wrong or better than the other, but you both have different strengths to bring to the table. Um, one's going to be, you know, do all the work uh, to, you know, make sure you get the best apparatus, and the other guy's going to make sure you did all the training in, um, so you can operate it real well. So you got to use on the strengths of it. So just remember that, like, you have your niche. We all do. And if you're always judging people because they're not good at your niche. Um, it's really not fair because what if they're doing the same thing about you? Um, because when you start focusing on yourself, um, you start kind of being a, maybe a pain in the ass. You're kind of thinking that you do a lot more than other people. And if you start being a pain in the ass to people, guess what? They're not going to listen to you. Um, they're going to dismiss you as just a complainer and then your influence is gone. So when you start get playing the me song, I'm actually going to give you guys a, a quick illustration of it. Um, See if I can figure this out. Um, all right, the me song. So let's say you're going around. Basically, this is going to represent this little timeline here. could represent your day, your year, your career. So you're going along, and then you start playing the me song. When you start worrying about maybe, oh, I do so much, I do all this, I'm not appreciated, somebody should be solving this issue, um, why won't they do this? If I had their position, I could solve it. If you start saying any of those following words, this is what you start doing. You're just going in circles and you're really going nowhere. And this is what happens to start playing that me song. And I'm sure you heard those phrases before. You can only really get out of this little phase 
when you start focusing on what's the result you want. So let's say um, you don't like the way the previous uh, group picked a, picked a fire engine. Well, guess what? You get involved and um, you make uh, low hose beds so guys can get on, whatever the case may be. When you start getting involved and actually just focusing on the result, that's when you're going to escape this little thing. And you're going to keep progressing as your career goes up. But And this can happen multiple times, though. You might be doing good, and then you start playing the me song again. And, well, when I'm a chief, I can do this. Or when I'm a captain, I would run things this way. And, nope, you're going nowhere. And you're actually just starting to become real miserable. And what's the point in that, right? Um, let's solve the issues, get together, and help each other out. So, you know, I talked about maybe some different roles you play. You know, I'm obviously, I'm really into training and I enjoy it. And I've been fortunate that, um, you know, I always thought we should have a better officer development so guys don't have to go outside the department to try to learn some good stuff. Well, I'm fortunate that I had a handful of other people that stepped up with me and we've already had one successful officer development school and we're working on making the next one even better. Um, so that, that's kind of like my niche with it. But what are the other niches that you have maybe at your firehouse? Um, you could have your, your union. You know, we have um, one district vice president and it's not even a paid position, but this gentleman is so busy trying to manage everything. And that's where he's putting his time and effort. Um, at, you know, somebody has to, and he's chosen that, you know, I, I'm, I pay my dues with it, but I'm not that involved as far as, you know, going to meetings and, and negotiations. Um, Cause I've chosen to uh, be around this guy and his sister. Um, but we need people to play those roles. So, you know, maybe it's getting involved with your union and heading that up, making sure it goes good. Uh, special teams, you know, um, depending on size of your department, you could have multiple disciplines with hazmat, technical rescue, dive teams, um, anything like that. So you're, you're going to have people that take on those niches. Uh, committees, you know, we have a, you know, a gear committee, or apparatus committee. Uh, they're talking about like a training group, but there's these other things that people start getting involved. So, um, and then there's the call junkies, you know, guys at my station, we like running calls. That's why we're there. Not everyone does. So maybe they get involved in different committees, but people are going to play on their strengths and what their interest is. Um, you could be the guy that's all, oh, I'm going to take all the calls and go on them. And all these guys don't want to run calls. Um, but maybe you're not involved in the committees. You're maybe not putting in the time off duty that they are with other things. And if you're letting these frustrations get to you, um, you're just making yourself miserable. So what I like you guys to do is start focusing on what you can do to help each other. Um, help the team, and at the end of the day, you got to play your part. You know, we all have different parts. I talk about different um, subcommittees, maybe within your department that you've got going on. But we really need to all play our part with it because otherwise, you start going towards that me instead of trying to get to the we, right? So, um, you know, I talked about it when I was talking about the me story, but uh, we seem to have a lot of the the, the uh, what would I do. And, uh, you know, these are people that think, uh, you know, I'll tell you myself, I thought, you know, my children were going to eat vegetables and nothing but healthy stuff. And of course, that was before I had children. And now I'm just happy that uh, they eat and, um, you know, clean bill health of the doctor, items like that. So, you know, it's real easy to say what you would do as a parent when you're not one. It's real easy to say what you would do in leadership um, when you're not taking on those roles yet. So just remember, it's really easy to sit there and say, you know, if I was a company officer, I would do this. If I was an engineer, I would do this. If I was a training chief, I was the ops chief. If I was the fire chief. This is what I would do. Until you're there, you're really never going to know. You know, especially with all these things that have happened in society right now, everyone has a comment of what they would do if they were in those situations. You'll never know until you're there. It's really easy to say what you do, but it's much harder once you're in those positions for it. So just remember, um, Try not to get too wrapped up in the, well, what I would do. And really, guys, at the end of the day, I hope you all just stay into the job. You know, um, we see a lot of frustrations that go on. But and if for you not to stay into the job, that's that's your decision. Don't let anybody take that from you because you can't. You know, it, you got to push through it, focus on what the results are. And a lot of times our ego can get the best of us with these situations. And I've seen some really passionate people. Um, Go down that route of frustration and uh, just stay in that negative area and, and just have it kind of 
recover from it. Because that's what happens when you start seeing people really jaded by their department. They were some passion. They were into, into the job. And then somewhere along the lines, they got let down. And then they went the path that they did. So staying in the job. Uh, when you start focusing on yourself, look at the team, what you can do. You know, there's times most of the stuff that, that I post is, is me dealing with it and uh, realizing, hey, that there's a better way to do this. And how can we go about it? Um, so I hope this week's episode uh, helped you with anything that's going on. As always, share this on up. And um, otherwise, I'm going to talk to you guys next week. And you guys have a great, uh, great rest of your week. All right, buddy.